Hi, today we're going to do a fun art piece with the new invitation only IOD mold and an art plank. Hi, I'm Myra with Boutique Paint. Thank you for joining me. I've already gone ahead and poured my um, resin and so I'm going ahead and pulling them now and they are just so much fun. These little guys, look at that. Look at the detail of that. It's unbelievable. I don't know if I, I'm not doing... I'm not going to do um, four pieces today, but I wanted to go ahead and pour these just so I'd know what they look like. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. Um, really like him. Oh, they're all good. We'll see. So I'm going to start out with IOD's Art Blank, and this is a 5x7. And I went ahead and I painted it uh, DIYs old school because I didn't want it a, a solid black, but you can obviously do whatever you feel you want as far as colors and then I have these papers and these will be on our website and they'll be a free download you go to our website under inspirations and I'll leave the link be below but they're free printables so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the edge off of this and I'm just going to use my little cutter here because I am not good with scissors so I'm just going to take two of the edges off of the white and this is the way it'll print out and once you print it give it an hour to just set up um, since we're going to mod podge this you want to make sure that the ink is dry and I just have you know a regular printer I don't have anything special but uh, you definitely want the ink to set up Especially since there's a lot of ink on this. Let's see. I'm going to flip this around. And so the inside of this is um, three and I want to say three eighths. So actually if I just get my ruler here. Then I can. Oops. Okay, our paper's cut, and we'll set, get this set aside. So what we want to do is we just want to Mod Podge. And I tried doing it on the paper, thinking that way the Mod Podge wouldn't be going up the side so much. Um, but then I didn't get it in there straight, and I found it didn't move around when I put it on the paper, where when I put it straight onto the um, wood, the paper still was able to move around. And you were able to manipulate it into the place that you want it. And take one of the IOD um, silicone trowels and just kind of help get it in there. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will do a top coat with the Mod Podge. But for right now I want it to dry. And I did use a hair dryer to um, dry this one and it worked just fine. And then I did my top coat. So this one's already got the top coat of the Mod Podge. And so now we want to take one of these guys and we're going to put them inside. But we need to paint him first. And I've got some Prairie Gray from DIY on my plate here. And I'm going to start with his antlers. I'm just going to get him painted up. You could be really whimsical with this and just have a lot of fun and do bright colors too and forget you know the natural um colors of things and you know do purple antlers and um you know red suit i mean because they are very whimsical but because my color palette is this i thought well i'll do this kind of um kind of vintagey look but you could always um, get some napkins as your background or um, you could do floral you could do napkins, pa um, tissue paper, all kinds of stuff. And then next what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a little bit of uh, faded burlap. And I'm going to use this for his, the main part of him, his face and his little ears here. Oh, and I'm getting paint everywhere. This is uh, in front of the TV project. And I'm 
much and especially right now I don't know if there, any of you are into the NCAA basketball um, where your partners might be your other halves you can sit in front of the TV if you're not into it you can pretend like you are and paint I personally love the NCAAs I've been watching <laughs> My husband isn't that into sports, and I'm way into sports. But I love, um, we're a collegiate town, and so um, we have season tickets for our women who did horribly, unfortunately. Um, this go around. Um, our men did better, but I, I, I do enjoy just watching, watching it all. So it looks like his fur goes down to the bow tie, so I'm going to go ahead and go down there. I'm going to do crinoline here. And you can dry in between colors. Just use a hair dryer just to kind of speed up the process. And then I think I'm going to do the undershirt here, crinoline. I think I'm going to do the old school on his tuxedo. That way it brings in the outside of this frame. So I think I want to just add a little bit of this color down here. So I'm going to grab that brush. Just going to get, and I'm just going to kind of dry brush, although this is a little bit, got a little bit too much paint on it. I'm just going to especially get the edges, just like that. That looks good. All right. And this is um, swan white that I'm using here. And you can paint it in whatever order makes sense to you. I'm just kind of willy nilly in it here <laughs> as I do. So now I think I'm going to do the vest in this color here, which was, what I, there it is. Got so many colors out, I'm losing track of what's what. take a flat brush and I'm going to dry brush his fur a little bit and I'm going to use this brown up here again I'll just kind of come in here and highlight a little bit just so it's stands out a little bit more And remember, if you boo-boo, you can paint over it, dry it, and then start again. Just repaint it and, and go. But there's not much paint on this brush right now. But you can see it just kind of gives a little bit of dimension to the spot, high spots. 
And now for his eyes, I'm just going to take a little bit of the old school and a toothpick and I just put a little bit of paint on there and I'm going to go in. I'm just going to do a quick dot and hopefully my eyes are, or my hands are steady enough. If you have a really, really fine brush, you can do it too. It looks a little uh, spooky that way. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to stop there. Although I could sit there and, you know, fiddle with him and touch him up um, constant. I'm going to dry him up before we do the next step. Okay, I didn't realize, but my camera stopped filming here. Um, basically, what I did is I took some of this foam tape, and I got this from the dollar store, and it's super, super um, sticky. And I just cut a piece off, and I put it on three spots. I put it here, and I put it here and here. And I doubled it up. So I put one layer on, and then what I did is I took the paper off, And the reason why I'm doing two layers is because I want it to be raised. I want it to be raised more than just one layer's worth. This is completely up to you what you want to do. This is just, um, I want it to look kind of shadow box. And so this one I'm going to leave on until I'm ready to put. But I'm just layer them, layering them. And then I peeled off the backing and went ahead and just stuck him in the middle of that box like that. I realized that the uh, faces really weren't showing up as much as I wanted to on these. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and get some clear wax on these and it'll change the color, but it will lighten back up. I'm just going to go ahead and I probably should have done this. Oop before I put them on the boards. But sometimes you just kind of are going along with the process, not really realizing um, that you needed to add something. But I just think if I add some dark wax that the face, um, the detail on the face is going to show up better. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark and decrepit dust Just put a little bit. And this isn't going to show up a whole lot right now because the uh, wax made it darker. So let's go ahead and get this one. This one's going to show up a lot better right out of the gate here. See already, you can see how much it has changed. You're starting to see the features a little bit better. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and wipe it back a little bit. But it got into the detail then of the mold and definitely showed off um, the detail a little bit better. So that's it for this week. If you have any questions about any of the products I use, you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com. And thank you so much for joining me.